uh, the first thing you should do when you get to your room in Banyan Tree, check the water pressure, uh, the shower heads, check if the steamer works. If you want, uh, if you want to use the steamer, check if that works. If it doesn't, call maintenance or switch rooms. Hello, hey. and welcome to Banyan Tree Mayakoba. <laughs> They give you these when you first arrive. Taking our boat to the lobby. Thank you. Taking this boat to the beach. Feeling the magical vibes. <laughs> chips are awesome. Slow vibes here. Beautiful. This is the pool at Sands and we are, we wanted to go into the pool but we passed by and it looked too, I'm just talking for both of us, it looked too family oriented, <laughs> too many kids but there are these seats out here where you can sit in the sands. There is a bar right there and you can see the ocean, check out this view of the restaurant pool and the hawk over there wherever the hawk went and some cool outdoor seating right here it's raining a little bit um, this is more like um, doesn't feel like a beach there's like buoys out there and like some barriers I don't know but it's like really raining right now Pool area in back of me, or the big pool, infinity pool. Whoa! Beautiful scenery. This side is the restaurant, and then we have the wonderful beach and seats. This is a deep pool. It's super deep. And I saw some kids playing in here. It's kind of dangerous. It's like the same depth everywhere. There's no shallow areas or anything. I think because today is Sunday. Sunday is checkout day. And not too many people are here. So we kind of get the pool to ourselves. Um, this beach called Playa del Carmen, I think. Mayacoba is just an area where there's a bunch of hotels and each hotel 
is like a resort. So it's kind of, you have to commit to staying at that hotel. You can't like step out and like go see the city or like, like in Cancun or maybe even Tulum. I've never been to Tulum, but I'm assuming that you can kind of go into town and um, experience the city and other places. In Mayakoba, the resort you go to is a resort you go to and the amenities they have, the activities and everything um, is what you can do. And I feel like it's for more of a like a relaxed crowd, maybe couples or families who just want to chill or people who just want to uh, chill and be in luxury. It's amazing we get this pool all to ourselves. We kind of have the, the whole resort to ourselves it feels like because it's Sunday on a checkout day. If you want to experience a resort or a hotel where it's not too crowded, uh, check in on a Sunday. And now we are in the villa, in the yes, plunge pool. Are. It's a lot warmer. It's warm in this plunge pool. This is our view from the plunge pool. Plunge pool. We are now in the hot tub. That last place was a plunge pool. This is a hot tub. That's a shower. Right there. Ooh, it's hot. Ah, ha, ha. Got some mood lighting right there. This is so hot, so nice. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, you saw this in the room tour. Um, that's a separate video if you want to see that video. Click up there. Or find it on my page. That is the shower. Right there. Door with the light. Looks pretty cool. And then that leads to the closet. That leads to the main area. Let me put this on wide lens, ultra wide lens, so you'll see the full perspective. We are on ultra wide right now. Hot tub. It's very, very shallow. Oh. Bath foam. It's just soap. Ooh, that smells good. I don't know what that is, but it smells good. The shower is not really great because uh, when you stand there, the water like curves this way, so you have to stand really close. It doesn't come out like straight down; it like curves in. Weird. And then this thing, it's a little loose, <laughs> but pretty cool. Looks like you're like under some sort of cliff. Mexican night at the bar. I'm gonna show you this area. It's really nice. That's another part of the bar over there. That's where uh, the boat picked us up this morning. It's beautiful at night. I think this is like Mexican buffet or Mexican food night. And there's like a mariachi band. They got a pinata up there. Oh, they're roasting a they're roasting a pig right there. They got set it up like uh, street vendors. I think they're serenading one of the guests. They're like serenading the guests over there. Check out this roasted pig. I think it's a buffet tonight. We got some pastries and I got some pancakes and Monica got the Mexican breakfast which is a huevos rancheros. I think he said this is banana or there's like banana here somewhere. Um, these pastries look so good and then we got a green juice 
We got some coffee. We got some fruit. We got some fresh cut up fruit. A couple of mimosas. This little tray of jams and honeys and all kinds of different things. Some butter for the pancakes. Sugars, maple syrup. Now that you've seen the beauty of things, let me just show you some of the drawbacks. First off, first off, this is supposed to be a steam room and I guess steam is supposed to come from there. This does not work. So you might not be getting steam. Also, see how that's dripping? That's full water pressure. So it's not like there's a leak, but that's what you have to take a shower in. You can also transfer it to there, but so then you pull this and then that turns on. But see how nothing's coming out? I tried to pull it all the way. I'm like tugging at it. And like it's just a slow drip. So I'll push it back in. And then the shower head will turn on and that's the kind of that's the water pressure that's coming out. So I had to take a shower in that. No steamer. And then I tried to take a shower here. Yesterday it was kind of working, but pull it out. Really nothing comes out. I guess I have to, oh, it's just dripping a little bit. If you can see, it's like a slow, I guess there's more water coming out of here in the outdoor, but that's like, just like drips. You would think if you would have like a huge shower, waterfall shower head like that, we would take this luxurious bath, but we get that. Or just little drips like this here. And this is not hot too. This does not get hot. So this is either a cold shower with a little more water or a hot shower with just this kind of drip. So the showers here are not luxurious. Um, Make sure you ask or you check it first. Another thing is there's a lot of hidden charges. Um, when you first check in, there's like, it's all um, itemized and stuff like that. And there's some hidden charges that are optional. So if you don't want to pay those, um, you need to tell them, I don't want to pay the optional charges. If you want to pay the optional charges, um, when you check out, read the line items and then pay them. If not, then let them know. Otherwise they'll charge you. We booked a car from here to the airport and then we wanted to cancel it. That was 200 bucks. Um, and then they said, we can't cancel it because we wanted to take a cab. Um, and we had to put up a fight and then they said, okay, okay, we will cancel it because a cab is much cheaper than if you book a car here. Um, so that, is also kind of like a negative thing. Um, and there is a $750 resort fee on top of the nightly rate. So that's a lot. Um, on top of a nightly rate, which is already a lot, there is an additional fee of $750 that you have to pay. Um, so just keep in mind when you book the rooms, the rate that you see is not really the rate that you'll pay when you check out. This is insanely beautiful. And going to our private area on La Playa. Rent a villa here. You get an assigned private area. I don't know why they gave us a big one. Check out these are other people's private ones, just one, two, but we get this whole shebang right here, right by the beach. And whoa, check this view out here. And then this view here. Hola. On this beautiful beach. Ooh, it's hot, 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 hot. hot. Yeah, this is definitely a perk. I don't know, uh, did you upgrade us to one of these things? Yeah, we got a huge area over here. But this is ours. Oh, I think that's ours too. 916. Let's check the temperature. Check the temperature of this 
this water here compared to Cancun. Ooh, it's a bit chilly, but it's still nice and warm. A little murky, but very turquoisey blue. Can't beat this. You cannot beat this with any vacation. Well, maybe, but right now, this kind of stands alone and it's beautiful. <laughs> Look at these people doing a, I don't know, that jet skiing with the rubber ducky. That's about it for Daniel Chimayakoba. We're checking out in a little bit. We did late checkout. If you've seen my other videos, always do late checkout. And until next time, peace.